Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 8 and Galaxy Z Flip 8 are already stirring up the rumor mill, but let's not buy the hype blindly. Today, we'll put these leaks under the microscope and ask the real questions. Can a thinner, lighter Flip 8 boost sales by 10%? Will the Fold 8 move the needle beyond the Fold 7's big redesign? And is any of this enough to hold ground before Apple's rumored foldable iPhone arrives? Here's the context. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 broke through with a full overhaul, one of the slimmest, lightest foldables you could buy, and consumers responded. Meanwhile, the Z Flip 7 didn't see the same heat, and even a lower-cost Flip 7 FE reportedly failed to attract buyers. Translation, people shopping foldables want bleeding edge, not bargain bin compromises. Now to the leaks. Reports say Samsung's mobile division is targeting a combined 6.7 million units of the Z Fold 8 and Z Flip 8 in 2026, about 10% higher than the 2025 goal. The lever, a major push on the Z Flip 8, allegedly over 10% thinner and lighter for a dramatically improved in-hand feel. There's also chatter that Samsung wants to ship around 36 million Galaxy S26 units in 2026, roughly flat year over year, another signal that foldables, not slabs, are the growth story. But is a skinnier Flip 8 enough to win? Not by itself. Thin and light cells on day one, battery life, Durability, cameras, and software keep people happy on day 100. If Samsung really shaves more than 10% from the Flip 8's thickness and weight, there are trade-offs to watch. A tighter hinge could affect durability or crease visibility. Thinner UTG might risk long-term toughness. Trimmed chassis volume could squeeze battery capacity and thermals. If Samsung solves those without sacrificing endurance or heat management, then the feel-in-hand upgrade becomes a genuine reason to switch. Let's break down what would make these leaks worth your attention and what would make them just noise. For the Galaxy Z Flip 8, thinner and lighter is the headline, but the must-haves are clear. First, battery life. A slimmer frame cannot come with worse screen on time and faster throttling. Second, better cameras. The Flip line has long trailed premium slabs, upgrades to the main sensor, low light processing, and telephoto options would finally make it a no-compromise daily driver. Third, durability, improved hinge robustness, better crease management, and a push toward dust resistance alongside water resistance would be a major trust signal. Fourth, external usability, a brighter, larger cover display with richer app support and fewer crop compromises turns flip from a fun device into a work and fun device. If Samsung nails all four, the 10% slimmer, 10% lighter, leak becomes more than a spec sheet flex. It becomes the reason the Flip 8 actually outsells its predecessors. For the Galaxy Z Fold 8, the bar is higher because the Fold 7 already made a big leap. The next wins have to be meaningful. A lighter frame is still welcome, but real-world improvements like better aspect ratios for typing on the cover screen, brighter foldable panels, reduced crease, and stronger multi-window and taskbar workflows will matter more. Camera parity with flagship slabs, faster wired and wireless charging, and smarter Galaxy AI features that are truly optimized for split-screen productivity would make the Fold 8 feel like a next-gen mobile computer, not just a refined Fold 7. Now timing, Samsung usually unveils foldables in mid to late summer, if Samsung wants to firm up market share before Apple's rumored September entry, expect a confident, early window and aggressive marketing around thinner, lighter, smarter, with a particular focus on the Flip 8 as the mainstream hook. That said, don't expect deep discounts at launch. If the goal is to ship 10% more foldables while adding premium materials and engineering, Samsung will likely hold pricing steady and lean on carrier, promos, rather than cutting MSRP. What about the Galaxy S26 series, a reported 36 million target for 2026, similar to S25, suggests Samsung sees slabs as steady, not soaring, that puts more pressure on foldables to do the heavy lifting. If the Flip 8 really lands the pocketable but premium sweet spot and the Fold 8 advances productivity, Samsung can widen its lead in the US foldable space before Apple shows its hand. Of course, leaks are not contracts, 
Claims of 10% thinner and lighter are exciting, but watch for the fine print. Is the battery capacity down even slightly? Has the hinge been redesigned for longevity, not just looks? Are we getting dust resistance at last? Are the cameras catching up? Or are we still living with slab class compromises? If Samsung answers those questions convincingly, the Flip 8 becomes the breakout star. Because in the real world, comfort plus capability beats specs on paper every time. Who should upgrade if you're on a Flip 6 or earlier and you've been waiting for a truly pocket-friendly Flip with better cameras and endurance? The Flip 8, if it delivers on these leaks, could be your moment. If you just bought a Fold 7 because it finally got thin and light enough, you may not feel compelled to jump to Fold 8 unless Samsung brings a clear camera bump, faster charging, or major productivity gains. And if you're undecided between slab and foldable, watch how Samsung positions Galaxy AI on foldables versus slabs in 2026. Foldables need tailored AI features that actually use the larger canvas and multitasking to justify their price. Finally, the Apple wildcard. If a foldable iPhone lands next fall, it will eat some mindshare and likely some market share, especially in the US Samsung's best defense is momentum. Ship earlier, polish the experience, and make the Flip 8 the first foldable most people actually recommend without caveats. That means no glaring trade-offs, fewer, yeah, but s, and a launch that feels premium, not experimental thinner and lighter is the right headline for the Galaxy Z Flip 8, but only if it comes packaged with stronger cameras, better battery life, improved durability, and smarter software. The Galaxy Z Fold 8 has to push beyond refinement to feel truly next-gen. Hit those marks, and Samsung's 10% higher shipment target is realistic. Miss them, and the leaks will feel like clever marketing ahead of Apple's entrance. Either way, the foldable fight of 2026 just got a lot more interesting.